What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel and my friends, the wait is over. We finally have the trailer that we've all been waiting for announcing Descent, the third of four map packs with this content season of Black Ops 3. And this one, though we don't see anything for multiplayer just yet, that'll be coming soon. We did see a ton of stuff for the brand new zombies map, Grode Crovy, which translates to City of Blood. We're gonna be breaking down the trailer for you guys in this one, showcasing just about everything you need to know that you might have missed, and that is absolutely very cool going forward in a DLC 3. But before we get too far into it, myself and a bunch of other YouTubers are giving away a copy of Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition, Battlefield 1, Control Freaks, as well as a tub of G Fuel. If you guys wanna enter that giveaway, that link is down there in the description below. And if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like down below. You guys absolutely killed the video I put up at 2.30 in the morning last night. I did not expect that to do that well at all. But thank you dudes for that. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're actually back on that road to 40,000 subscribers. A massive sub purge happened last night and a ton of other YouTubers as well as myself lost thousands of subscribers. I was just on that cusp of 1,000 loss. So until YouTube fixes what they did here, if they do it all, we're back on that road to 40,000 subscribers. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the breakdown. This thing is beautiful. This trailer was so brilliantly done and there's actually a ton of stuff to take a look at here with this one. A lot of little small bits and pieces, the first of which really isn't probably anything too major, but I wanted to point out that this very first shot is called Belinsky Square. It's a rail car, and I'm not really expecting it to be a trolley or anything like that. It just looks like they're using the ruins as the markers. I thought it was interesting though that Belinsky Square, Nikolai Belinsky, a map focused around Nikolai, it just flows perfectly. Now the next one, this he looks out at Stalingrad and whether or not this is proper homage to it or not, I don't think this is going to play into the storyline of the map, but I thought it was absolutely brilliant and I cannot be the only one who thought that it looked exactly like this. But the mission Vendetta from World at War's campaign, you play as Dmitry Petrenko in the Red Army and you awake at a fountain located in the Red Square of Stalingrad and it's just one of the most iconic missions in Call of Duty history, one of those ones that really stands out. And I thought to myself, as soon as I saw this, this is definitely the Red Square. This is definitely the same fountain that you, as well as Victor Reznov, awake from and then make your escape from. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm just looking too far into this as a conspiracy theory, but it is definitely very cool to see that blast from the past. Now, another thing to note is that the Giants are back here as well, at least one for sure. Similar to Der Eisendrache here, we see one toppled over in the distance, perhaps leading to another animated intro like we saw in DLC 1 in which they're going after the body of Nikolai with it. That's a possibility, but until we see it, I don't think we can rule that as a fact just yet. It's more of just a theory and speculation. Next, we see electric zombies, which I'm very interested to see how this will work because in Advanced Warfare's exo zombies mode, the electric zombies were EMP zombies that shut off your exo suit, so it'd be interesting to see if this does something similar, and if so, then I'm gonna absolutely hate these things. And another thing to note right at the beginning is that there is a giant dragon. This is gonna be a main focal point for the map, and we're even gonna be aided by him, and even at some points, fighting with the dragon, and did I mention that we can fly with him too that we'll see later on in this trailer? The dragon is gonna play a huge key portion in this map, so be on the lookout for a lot of stuff talking about that. But our buddy the Panzer Zoldat is also returning. Not entirely sure if we'll have the same exact properties, but it seems like a heavily armored zombie inside a mech suit coming at us with what looks like a jet arm of some sort. So that'll be interesting to see what kind of melee attack that has. And instead of the bug rounds from Shadows and the spider rounds from Zetsubonoshima, we may have a drone round. A 935 created electric drone that looks crazy cool, but is probably really annoying to deal with. Now, they look relatively bigger, but I have no idea if they'll be a bigger boss or if they're gonna be like the spiders and the bug rounds, but they seem to die quickly, so I guess we'll see in time. Now, the next thing that I wanna point out is the dragon shield. This is the zombie shield, probably. We've seen them slightly themed in the other maps, but this one looks the coolest, I think, here with this. Fortified with dragon skin, with a window like the mouth, outfitted with the teeth of a dragon. That's just intense. Now, it's possible this could be its own thing, but the way that the shields have gone previously, I'm gonna say that this is the shield, but as you can see, it shoots a green substance. So, perhaps this is the upgraded shield at this point. 
We saw the upgraded shield in Zetsubo no Shima turn electric, so it's quite possible we could see this one as the upgraded shield as well. Now in the next sequence, we firstly see the Wonder Fizz is returning, and then we see a giant mech arm. Probably the ability special for this map, but it's essentially the Ripper, in which you can punch through enemies instead of actually just with an electric knife stabbing through everybody. But the lunge is absolutely insane, and I think this actually looks quite funny if you were to ask me, but it looks absolutely awesome at the same time. So we're probably gonna have to build the arms metallic casing for this to be completed and to be able to use this, just like we've had to build the other weapons as well that are the specials. Now, the Trample Steam from Black Ops 2 is returning, it looks like, or a slightly altered version of it. But then this next piece, Easter Egg Step or not, it's something that I have no clue what it is right now, but it looks absolutely insane. It seems to gather all the zombies around it, but I think the most important part out of this scene and this sequence is what is in the corner of this frame. Dempsey is wielding a weapon that we'll see here in a few seconds, but it's the Ray Gun Mark III. Dual-wield, pistol-style Ray Guns. Yeah, baby, the dual-wield Ray Guns Let's go, that's hype if I've ever seen it, but along with the box including numerous other weapons that are new, DLC weapons like the Shadow Claw are making it into Grod Grovy as well, and we get to see the close-up look of the Raygun Mark III, and the return of everyone's favorite just a few frames later, the PPSH. I got so hyped when I saw this with the lines, how about one more time just for old time's sake in the trailer. I lost it at that point, I was so hyped. That just like fed my inner nerd so hard. This to end it out though, we see our main four mounted on the back of the dragon and we'll fly off with him. And an interesting way to end this as the schematics and Easter eggs hinted at this for a couple maps now that we've been seeing leading to this point right here. So it looks like we're flying pretty far. So I'm curious where it'll go if it's part of the Easter egg or maybe if it's another pack-a-punch like that of Icarus and the Golden Gate Bridge in Mob of the Dead. But who knows, all I really know is that I'm beyond hype for this, and it certainly looks to be a ton of fun. So that's going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did like this breakdown. What part did you see out of this trailer that you guys thought was absolutely the coolest part out of it by far? I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. And if you guys did like the video, be sure to like rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Sadly, we're on that road to 40,000 again. So hopefully we hit that here and then can crawl back up to where we're going towards the 50 50,000 goal. So, thank you dude so much for watching. I'll keep you guys updated with anything that comes out here with DLC 3. We're going to have some more talk on all this kind of stuff in the next couple of days. So, thank you dude so much for watching. My name is Vinicola Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.